วังเซนหอยวังสุกานะพันนะฮะวังวังเซนหอสุกานะฮะวังเซนหอสุกานะพันนะฮะวัดยาเบงวัดเดียหัวเอจุนไทยเจมาถือคนนัดมาลุเซไก่หลังอันนี้เจไอเจ้าหัวหลังบอนี่เจอันนี้เจอ่าเลี้ยงบอนี่เจ That's projected that the world's population will grow another two billion people in the next 20 or 30 years. These fish look in really good condition. The key thing here for farmers is to be able to produce enough fish to feed the population in his area, but also globally. My name's John Benzi, and I'm the acting director of Aquatic Foods Biosciences for World Fish, based here in Penang, Malaysia. Fish are highly nutritious, and in many parts of the world, are the key components to people's nutritional security. I just want to update you about it's important to produce more of these foods. The weight has increased. One, because they're nutritious and they've been fed today. But secondly, because there's a huge demand for them that is not currently met. In this hatchery, we maintain the genetically improved farm tilapia strain, known as GIF. This fish now grows. Twice as fast as unimproved tilapia. Let's try. Yes. Okay, so let's go. When the fish are large enough, slowly. We take a small piece of the fin. Doesn't harm the fish at all. And we take that sample to provide to our research partners in the UK, Errolham Institute. But where we come in as the Earlham Institute, you've got a lot of natural. Yeah. What we do is we look to sequence the genomes of these fish. It's quite a small fish, and then annotate the functional and non-coding aspects of the genome to then better inform how they could then improve these fish further. We could utilise the ability of the nar tilapia to grow particularly well and fast. I'm Karim Garbi. I'm head of genomics pipelines at the Earlham Institute in Norwich, England. The issue that we're trying to tackle with this collaboration with Worldfish is to try and improve aquaculture in Africa and Asia of tilapia fish. To do this, we use state-of-the-art technologies to look at the genome as a whole and in some cases very specific areas of the genome that might be of interest and linked to these traits that the farmers are interested in. So the benefits of the, the Novo Seek for this type of projects are, are twofold. The first one is reducing the cost. The second benefit to us is the speed. What's really important there is that allows us to apply multi-omic approaches which gives us better power then to translate some of our findings to deal with one, my mission of improving food sustainability but then also Earlham Institute's mission to also protect life on Earth. This is my passion, my scientific passion really. Um, so being able to connect the technology that we've set up in this lab to the life of farmers and the livelihood of farmers and helping them thousands of miles away with the work we're doing here in the lab is, is fantastic. It's going to be important to produce not only organisms that grow faster and produce food more quickly, but also do so with less environmental impact. It feels like a worthwhile thing to do, and it's satisfying at the end of the day to think that you've made at least some small contribution to that process.